Hey, little girl, did you get locked out? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Morning glory. <laughs> oh my gosh. Really? Oh, baby girl. Mister. Is this... Is this a daily thing for you? That reminds me, I was going to plant a uh, pineapple sage over there. Thanks. Thank you, honey, for reminding me. Both pineapple sages are in now. This one's by the beehive. And, and it's by the Rose of Sharon. The first Rose of Sharon that I put in. So, honey, don't mow it over, please. See that hummingbird? He actually stopped for a minute to take a rest. What you doing, Chewy? Chewy, where are you going? Where are you going, Chewy? Don't get lost. Chewy, you found some sun. Lay down, baby. baby. Let's talk about you. Come here. So. <laughs> yeah. So homely, only a mother can love her. <laughs> she is blind. Her name is Chewy. I don't know if I ever introduced you guys. Maybe here and there you saw her, but uh, I never really talked about her. She, uh, she's 13 years old, and when we got her from the Oregon Humane Society, she was already going blind. Now she's completely. She has one eye that the doctor said never developed, and another eye that is protrudes. It, it uh. It gets inflamed and bulges out. Um, so we have her on medication for that. So she gets that once a day. Yeah. 
and um, yeah she she normally sleeps all day and since it started getting warm and the rain has stopped, I've been leaving the door open and she kind of snuck out I don't think she realizes where she was going because uh, we nicknamed her bumper because she bumps into things to find her way anyway so yeah she made it to Mama. I need to talk. This world is going crazy. And although this video was supposed to be an update about the garden, um, and yeah, we've seen some, I'll show you some more, but we need to talk. I'm hoping, I'm hoping you all are doing your, your thing. <laughs> it's not like Biden. Um, I hope you are preparing for what's to come and what is already here. I'm seeing that daily, I'm seeing prices jack up and I have for a couple months. Um, the latest I've noticed was last week first of all I used the the Walmart app and uh, I put my groceries in the grocery cart you know the digital grocery cart what I do is through this app I have the list and I go to the grocery store I get my groceries and I delete each item as I go well, last week in my grocery cart, the grand total was $167. And I waited a week. I should have got them right then. Um, I waited a week and was ready to go shopping. The price had jacked up to $270. Same items in the grocery cart. I did not mess with it. I did not add. I did not delete any items. Um... That's a big jump in one week. So, I'm not even sure if it was a full seven days. Anyway, um, I am worried about those around me who don't see what's in front of their eyes. And I know it shouldn't be my problem, but I care and you know, um, I'm growing a garden. I am learning to can. I am making sure not only my family is taken care of, but the animals too. I'm making sure we have enough for us. Um, I would love to have enough to last several years, but that's not feasible, not with prices. Um, we, we're not, we're not rich, so, um, I don't have a job, but I've been trying. Every time I go to the store, I buy something for the pile. And because here we are today, $270 for just a few groceries. Here's an example. I put in my grocery cart some canned ham. Each canned ham cost $3.57. And that's for 16 ounces. Now, fast forward, my mother-in-law says, oh, maybe I'll help out and buy some canned ham and get some more so we have ham for holidays and such well um for a two pack 45 dollars now i was like oh yeah but they normally have another price too so i checked i scrolled down and there it was for one can was three dollars and 97 cents okay that's better so be careful why are they selling two for $45? I mean, two, 
two of them at 397 does not add up to $45. So be careful when you go shopping online for your groceries. Do not fall for that. Keep scrolling down. You'll find it. You'll find a single price. You know, um, I don't know how long that's going to last. They may take that away. I don't know. But maybe, maybe the $45 is a future, what they think it might come up to. I don't know. I can't speculate that, but mosquito. Um, I mean, it's going to get scary and I hope you're prepared. Um, I really hope you're prepared for me personally I don't think we have enough I've been working my butt off I've been canning I've been learning to can meats and stuff and I'm paranoid of the green beans because um, of botulism but I guess if you cook them um, like boil them whatever you cook them up then I guess that takes away the botulism I don't know tell me if I'm wrong before I eat them <laughs> um, yeah I'm still learning here I am at age 51 and I should have learned how to can a long time ago my mother mm -hmm. tried to get me to to learn about how she does it and all the different roles and yeah I don't want to be bothered so <laughs> here I am teaching myself and, and my husband has been wonderful he's learning alongside me and uh, so if I have to run and like take care of the dogs or whatever um, He's on it. He is watching that canner. <laughs> and he's able to he's able to do the whole process. He learned before me. He taught me. So pretty cool. Kinda like that as having the same. They say diesel is gonna be at a shortage. So it's not just your F one fifties that take diesel. What about the farmer? What about the tractor? What about our generators? What, um, let, you know, make sure you're one step ahead of them. You have enough canned goods in the house. You are gardening and can't depend on just gardening now because not everything comes up. And, uh, you know, slugs ate most of my garden. I had to start over. So, um, yeah. Make sure you have your pantry stocked. Even if, you know, just starting a few things at a time. Uh, it would be good if you have at least three months worth. But in this day and age, I mean, three months worth is normal. This day and age, you want more. So, get on it, <laughs> if you haven't. And kudos to those who have. So, I hope you're working hard like I am. Making sure your family is fed. Remember to plant kindness, to grow love. God bless. And thank you for watching. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Freedom, wrong direction. There we go. Got your toy? Got your toy? Yep. Where are you going? Hmm? Where are you going? Come with us. Okay, Chewy. Time to go back in. Come on. Let's go. Hi, girl.
torches. You want your treat. You stuck with me, huh? You came back. Okay, you get your treat. Good girl for coming. Good girl. And good girl for staying put. Mm-hmm. <laughs>